Hispanic communities are questioning the lack of Mexican-American studies programs in Houston public schools. Efforts to recapture Hispanic culture could lead to a La Raza Studies program for future students. But what is La Raza Studies, and is this a program that we need in Houston? La Raza Studies is a program aimed to promote understanding and appreciation of Latino culture. Having La Raza Studies available for public school students has been a goal for some community members for several years. The Center for Mexican American Studies at the University of Houston offers courses that expose students to the Latino experience in the United States. Its mission is to advance knowledge, promote critical thinking, and foster the value of service in the community. The center is a place where students can receive academic advising, find resources for research, and study about their culture. La Raza Studies would offer courses to students on Chicano history, civil rights, arts, leadership skills, and community involvement. With several efforts taking place to boost the Hispanic graduation rate, could La Raza Studies be the missing link to get Hispanic students to pursue higher education? Professor Lorenzo Cano says La Raza Studies is the key in nurturing the community leaders of tomorrow. Well, it's important that, that we get organized at every level because in the development of human capital, in the, in the development of leadership, it, it doesn't start at the 12th grade. It doesn't, it doesn't start when you're 21 years of age and now you're an adult and now you can vote and you can do all these kinds of things. Uh, unfortunately, that type of development has to start early. It's just like anything else. You're not gonna, going to begin to study for the first time in your life when you're a senior in high school and expect to get into the finest universities in this country or in this world. Uh, you have to develop yourself very early on. Uh, and this is why I'm saying we have to be organized very early on because uh, we can't afford any other alternative. We don't have an endless amount of money, like the very wealthy in this country, uh, to hire people to go into organized communities and to go and lobby in order to get the kind of things you want from government. Uh, so we have to organize very early on so that we can be much more efficient in the kind of work that we do and in reaching those goals that we establish for our community, whether they be in improving local communities, mm -hmm. improving the park system, for example, or the transportation system, or in improving education. And we often do not look at our students, even at the elementary level or at the middle school level or at the high school level, as pot potential change agents, individuals right. that can get involved and can uh, become aware very early on that they can make a difference and they have to start right away. This is why you have, in even in elementary schools, science competition. Uh, and this is why you have all of these things that go on all throughout, because they are already developing these individuals. But we don't have enough of that in our public school systems. Uh, so this is why we need to invest in very young people very early on, have faith in them, and, and get them to understand that we believe in them so that they'll believe in themselves. I am Ashley Villalon with Spotlight, updating you with the latest news.